Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna go ahead and do another build builder and this one is gonna be really, really good for beginners, but also great for intermediate players and whatnot. Like I use the same build builder for Arena. However, beginners can use it for all kinds of maps because you guys play a little bit more slow paced and it's the fast castle uh, or 24 plus two pop fast castle into booming. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. It is a new build, you have five builds. If you wanna get access to this document, you can see how it looks like on the side. I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. It should be a, the new logo, but they forgot to put it in, I guess, or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, we'll click that. This is the new one. Uh, 24 plus 2 pop fast castle boom. This one is the meta on Arena for some sub, -ma sub matchups, so this is a very viable strategy on Arena if you want to develop your economy. But it, like I said, it's really good for beginners on maps like Hideout, maps like Arabia if you can wall, maps like Yucatan. There's a ton of different maps where you can just fast castle and get away with it, even if you're like, pocket on Black Forest in 4v4, you can play Michi. This build is great. So on any map where you're not getting attacked early, this is fantastic, okay? And this is basically, although it's a beginner build, this is basically the best way to do it. Like I use this in my own arena games, all the other top pros use it. I actually spent some time to make sure it's pretty optimized. So I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you guys right now. So obviously you can pause the video and see it right here. Um, I do give some of these builds out for free, but the whole document is behind a small paywall. But again, I'll show you guys how to get that at the end of the video if you're interested. But of course this one is free. And uh, yeah, this is the July build builder. So, uh, recommended sieves, you get the introduction, I'm not going to read it out, but you can pause and read it if you want. And then you have the entire build of what you want to go for in Dark Age, Feudal Age, and Early Castle Age. And then I don't leave you just to do whatever you want, I actually tell you what your options are next and some pro tips as well at the end that can help uh, pretty much everyone out. So definitely worth checking it out here guys, you can pause, zoom in, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and drop, jump right in now, I'm going to showcase how to do the build with Magyars, and uh, I'm going to do it on Arena, it's going to be... Normal speeds, uh, normal, what's all of this nonsense? <laughs> uh, none, that's good, all right, it should be good. We'll lock speed and teams. And yeah, I'm gonna take Magyar, so no eco bonus. So again, if you have a sieve with an eco bonus, you just can do it better, okay? So I'm showing you the bare minimum of what you get. So we're gonna go ahead and hop right in here. Uh, hold on, I changed my scene for no reason, <laughs> it should be good. All right, so starting things off, we're gonna go ahead and do two bills, uh, sorry, two houses, and then two bills, of course. It's arena, so we don't have to like scout that much, but we'll scout a little bit, like just see what's going going on, you know. Uh, if you want with the sheep, if not, it's cool, whatever. So you just do a loop. Also, pro tip in arena: delete these walls. The back walls, delete them. So shift delete them real quick in dark age. Obviously, keep the front walls. Don't don't delete those. Those are important. But you do that because those take up space for no reason. Also, you don't even want walls there if. Your, your opponent's pushing you, those walls, you, they're not going to save you. There's only like 10% of the map back here. So you're not going to be able to save much with them. So it's not like a second layer of walls. It's really just something you should probably just delete. It gives you more space to farm to build, to make buildings and stuff. So the first thing you do is just do a quick loop. Just to find all your like sheep, your boars. I have a cow here. Probably a second boar around here. Yeah, there's both. And we go six on sheep as I've been doing. Next three to wood. So. Pick a good wood line, because you're only doing one lumber camp for a while, okay? So pick a good wood line. If you're unsure, just take a straggler for a little bit. This one's decent, but I think I'll find better ones here. And by better, I just mean like a thick wood line. Like right here is perfect. Like this is, this is a good wood line. There's a lot of trees near that lumber camp that's solid. That's a good wood line, so we'll stick with that. Again, what's a bad wood line? If I make my lumber camp here, if I fit seven bills, they're gonna chop these like five, 10 trees very quickly. And then they're gonna be walking a long distance. Here, there's like 20 trees to, to chop before they start walking a little further. All right, then we start luring our deer. Try to do it one at a time. We wanna reduce the rots that the deer has. So here, if there's like one deer, one sheep, I don't wanna lure another one for now. So, oh, in the meantime, you can even just do nothing. You just AFK your scout, or you can like prepare the next deer if you want and get that guy in. So anyways, you do uh, four to wood, or sorry, three to wood, then we go ahead and get the boar. A lot of players do four to wood, but I think that's just a mistake. I'd rather get that extra food early so yeah, you get less rot. All right, so again, I'm pushing in the deer. Like I I'm not in a rush to kill this guy because I have so much rot, so I'm just gonna leave him there. Again, this is, when I told you guys, it's a beginner build, but I give you guys some good tips. You don't have to like rush into killing your animals. You have the time in arena. Scouting is not important, so it's not that big a deal. There we go. See, I'm taking a lot of care of when I kill my animals. That, that bill goes ahead and makes a house. Then it goes ahead and makes a 
uh, mill. Again, if this is too advanced for you, just take the beginner stuff. Like this is a beginner build, and there's some like advanced tips in here. So every single one of my audience members, every single one watching, can benefit a little. If you're just starting, don't care about these little tricks. Just get the deer in as fast as you can. Like that's fine. You know, it's not a big deal. The rotting is not that big of a deal as compared to what people think. It's like a smaller optimization of what you can do for the build. All right, then uh, I'm going to actually keep the build open here just so I can follow along myself. Um, so I sent, sent two builds to hunt, and then it tells me to go get the next boar, actually. Learning that guy. Spread those guys out. All right, so now it tells me to go ahead and send four builds to berries so I can have five there total. I might have put an extra one on hunt, but that's okay. I'll just adapt it. Remember, the builder is, at the end of the day, just a guide to help us out. It's not like a set in stone or anything like that. But if you're ever unsure what to do, just follow the build step by step. If you realize that, you know, you're basically doing the same thing as a small adaptation, that's fine too. All right, cool. So uh, obviously a little bit of rot. Like, this is not perfect by any means, but it is what it is. Go ahead and make a house here. Pick up the last cows. And I realized I didn't tell you when to make this house, I think. So just make the house at like 18 pop. That's fine. Um, that kind of stuff you guys should be doing like intuitively anyways. Like if you ever need a house, just make a house. That's all good. Not a big deal. So we're going to send two more to, to those guys. And I definitely added a little bit too many to the hunt. So that's my bad. I'll send one more here. And I think the next four goes to wood. And then we'll take two from the hunt and send those to gold. So that's going to be the build. And here you just scout for relics. We're not really going to be contesting relics too much, but you might as well scout for the relics or just scout the middle of the map. You obviously can't, can't scout your opponent's base. So those guys will go to wood. Because I sent too many to the hunt, uh, I'll just send them now to wood. That's all good. We want up to seven on wood. That's the important part. It doesn't really matter when they go. As long as you end up with seven on wood before you know, clicking up, that's, that's cool. And then the last two villagers this is also really important. The last two villages have to go to gold. So those are like the super important things. If you send them to hunt a little bit more, you see how I just transitioned from hunt over to the wood. It's not that big of a deal. But in the build, it tells you exactly where to send the villagers. So you don't have to make those transitions. So I just simplified it for you. But again, like if you have to make those kind of transitions, it's not a big deal. All right, now we also see a few farms. And we go up in no loom. So 24 pop, no loom. And how many farms do I say to send? So initially... Uh, 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 I'm just trying to read as well. I see four farms with sheep bills when the boar runs out, so maybe even a little earlier. Also, I'm going to check if I'm missing any sheep, actually. I'm not sure. These cows are throwing me off a little. So we'll see four farms. So there they are, four farms. And then we'll continue taking the sheep. Cool. And then the perfect landing time of feudal age is 1030. So if you hit 1030, that's the perfect time. Yeah, I was missing a cow. There we go. Get that guy in there. That's cool. So again, if you have any kind of eco bonus, you can get away with seeding less farms. You can get away with like going up faster if you want to. This is like the bare minimum. This works with any civilization. So here we actually need to make a house because again, we're 24 out of 25. I go up, I want to make two bills, then I want to click up. That's the plan. I'm going to make a market and a blacksmith. So one bill will make the blacksmith, two bills will make the market. A little short on woods, because I sent them a little late, but they should be good. And yeah, this is more or less optimized. So if I went a little early, it should have been good, but yeah, it's a little late, but it's all good. Uh, but as you can see, we are completely fine here. And we have just enough resources to get castle. Notice how it's like, again, it's a pretty optimized build. Like, we need 200 gold for castle age, we have exactly 200. We need 800 food, we have almost exactly 800 uh, food. And again, I actually messed up going a little later to wood, uh, to food, so I have a bit of idle time, but that's okay. I'll just tank it, it's fine. And blacksmith will get made, that's cool. Those guys should actually go to wood, we need 10 on wood now. So go ahead and do that. Uh, so that's 7, 8, and then 10. And then whenever you run out of sheep, you just go take stragglers, that's cool as well. Yeah. 
And then, as soon as we can, we get both eco upgrades. Alright, and then... Cool. And then after horse collar is done, we're going to go ahead and seed farms with the straggler tree bills. So, the sheep slash straggler tree bills. And 10 onward, it's perfect. And the cool thing is here, when we get the castle, you might be thinking like, oh, you should take those two off gold because you don't need gold. We're just going to boom. We actually keep them on gold so we're able to buy 100 wood or 100 food. It's not efficient to take them off, walk all the way to the wood line, and then gather. It's more efficient to just keep them on gold and then actually use the market to buy whatever you need. It's really nice to do that. Also with this build, what's really cool is that you can, <clears throat> like your berries will actually run out very similar to when you need to make your third town center. So I, what I, I like to do is make the third town center with my berry bills. So right now on the way up, we're going to plant our TCs. I recommend you make one on wood and then one on a, on a gold or a stone. But I re like in this case, this gold is near wood. So maybe one right here and one here is like perfect. So like this one right here is like speaking to me. Like I definitely want that one. So I'll use those two bills and maybe two farm bills to make that one. I'll buy a hundred wood and then make with these four bills a TC here, for example. So that's like my general plan, and I'll go ahead and do that right now. So TC here, take these bills off, buy a hundred wood, TC there, and again, the hundred wood that you buy comes at the perfect time. This is why I really love this build order, 24 plus 2, and it's super easy to do. You get go ahead, get bow saw, and that's pretty much the build. It's super easy to do, it sets you up perfectly for castleage. You have just enough food to sustain three town center production, and you have enough wood to obviously make the town centers. And again, like th this works on maps like Hideout, this works on maps like Black Forest, Pocket, whatever. Any map that just requires an FC and for you to develop your economy, this is a great builder for it. It's also really good for beginners because you guys oftentimes just want to develop your economy, don't really care about the early game fighting. So again, this is another solid build for you guys as well. So. Yeah, this build order had to get made. Uh, I think this one is going to help a lot of people, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. So I'm just going to run it out until like the TCs are made. Optional, you could get this. Magyars has no eco bonus, so it's hard to afford it. So instead, I'll just cut it out. I'll get it later. And I'll also give you guys some pro tips at the end of the um, uh, of the build order. Like One of them is get wheelbarrow around 18 farms. The other ones get hand cart as soon as you can afford it, which is really good for booming. And the other one is also really good. It's make farms around your gold TC first. In this case, my gold TC is also touching wood, but usually you can make farms around your gold TC because you don't need more gold early game. So here I need wood. So this, build, this TC makes bills on wood. This TC makes bills on straggler or farms. And this TC, if I didn't have the wood line here, I can only send them to gold or I can let them walk. But instead of doing either of that, I'll just make farms around this TC first. And then later on when I need gold, I can just take gold. And then from here, you have a ton of options, and I write them in the build order as well. You can go fourth TC, you can then start mining stone, go for a castle, you can start contesting the relics if you want. Somehow I got into my opponent's base, I don't know how. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the build, and I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. So the perfect time for Feudal Age was 10.30. Let's see if I actually hit that. Um, I hit 10.32, so I had two seconds idle time before hitting Feudal, and then I had some idle time for castle. So this isn't even perfect time, but as you can see, even without perfect time, I still hit a really fast castle. 14 minutes is very solid, and it's something that you guys can do in your own games as well quite consistently. So anyways, that's going to be it for the build order. I'm going to go ahead and quickly show you guys how to get it. So again, this is the build that I was following. I didn't do it perfectly because I was following it very like on the fly. If you have more time to check it out, I'm sure you guys can do it better than me. And then we're going to go ahead and show you guys real quick the, uh, how to get the builders if you're interested. So for the builds, you go ahead and go to my YouTube channel or go to any YouTube, Hair AOE2, click the channel, go to any video. So this is the most recent one. Go to this one. Go ahead, check the description out. We have this. So we'll go ahead and get that one. So that's the Twitch link. Then we don't need YouTube anymore. We go to my Twitch channel, click that. And then here you can subscribe. Uh, if you have Prime, uh, Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free. So if you have Amazon Prime, do that. If not, it's $4.99 per month. Well, all you have to do is subscribe one month, and then you get the entire document. Every month, I post one or two new builds. So for my constant subscribers, I always reward you guys with something new. If you just want the builds, subscribe once, and that's good to go. If you can't afford it, come down to my Twitch channel. Give me a follow. Talk in the chat when I'm live. If you're a nice guy, if you're new to the community, chances are you're going to get gifted by some of the other generous guys we have around or if not by me, if I see you around as well. But again, that is not guaranteed, but it's something you can do if you've got a little bit more time and not enough, uh, you know, not enough money to pay for it. 
So anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.